Hi and welcome to this DCP Web Blender 2.8 beginners tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this coloured procedural shader. So let's open up Blender and you can have a look at what it looks like. It's got these different textures on there. It's using this UV, uh, not the UV, using this HDRI lighting. You can see it looks pretty cool. So imagine if you added, added that to some text, it would look quite nice and it's got all of these different colours going through it. So I thought this one is worth doing a tutorial for because I thought it looked pretty cool. So we'll make this now in Blender. So let's minimize Blender and open up a new Blender file. Okay, so like usual, we'll click on General. We'll click on the cube and delete it. We'll click on the light source and delete that as well. We'll go to File, Save As. And then on my desktop, we've got this folder here and we'll call this Color colored material dash zero one let's save it let's press shift a and insert a uv sphere so we've got a uv sphere let's set the size to five like usual and then we'll go to our modifier we'll add a modifier and we're on a subsurface divide and then we'll click apply and then we'll right click and we will shade smooth okay so let's go into the shader let's set up our hdri map hopefully by now you've been following my tutorials and you know how to do this but i'm going to do this again one more time quickly so first thing we need to do really is download the hdri map so let's do that now h uh, hd all right and what we'll do is open up this folder and we're going to download a few maps i'll Put notes in the description so you can download them as well we'll click download 200 and we'll go to our night and we'll download the usual one we always grab because i kind of like the lights in this so let's download that one and we'll pick a different one today as well let's go to studio maybe let's have a look let's find something else high contrast Let's use let's use this one here. We'll click this one, parking garage. I'll download that one as well. And I'll put links to both of these in the YouTube description. So we'll download these. We'll drag this one into here. We'll drag that one into there as well. And then we just want to sort out our HDR lighting quickly. So let's go to Blender. We're, we've gone to the world settings here in the shading settings. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it clearer. We'll press Shift A and we want to search for a background. So we type in background and we'll drag that to here. So we'll have that below for the minute. Then we want to insert a mix shader, right? So let's press Shift A and we want a shader mix shader here. And we'll drag that to here. And we'll connect this background to the bottom one here. And we'll set it to black. We can set it to any color, but we will explain anyway. We'll press Shift A and we'll insert environmental texture. And we're gonna connect that to the color here. Shift A and we will insert a texture coordinate. And then we want our texture mapping, right? So we want to go to vector mapping. And we also want to input a light path. So generated to the vector, vector to the vector here. This is camera ray to the factor here. And that will be our HDRI setup. We'll click open, go to the folder, and we'll click on this parking garage. We'll check out, we'll click open. Then when we go to our render view up here, we'll click render. We'll see the object, but we don't see the HDRI lighting, but we can see all of the colors and the lighting coming through onto this object. So let's go to the object, click on it. You see it's highlighted in this orange color. We'll click object here. It doesn't have a material, so let's create a material for it. So we can apply this texture to it. So what we want to do here, yeah, we're in the, let's move, I'm gonna to need to move this up a bit so you can see it a bit clearer. We've got the material here, and we've got the principal shader here. First thing we'll do is insert a color ramp we need two of them actually 
so let's go to converter and then color ramp click on this color ramp and press shift d to duplicate it now we've got two color ramps let's put them side by side like this then we will uh, insert a noise texture so let's do a let's do a texture so let's put a noise texture so every time i'm adding one of these elements i'm pressing shift a so shift a and we want to add in a magic texture here and we want a wave texture here so let's do shift a and we want a wave texture then we also want to press shift a and we want to insert a color where is it uh, mix rgb here so let's connect this all up let's connect the color to the base color we'll connect this color here to the top here and this color here to the bottom one here like this We'll connect the factor here to this factor and this factor to this factor here and then we'll connect this factor here to the factor here like this so we've got this set up like this so now we can go and add all our colors and do all the stuff that we want to do so let's just drag this up a little bit let's click on this white swatch or the white handle here this white one uh, let's drag it right to the end and the first thing we'll do is set that to some sort of red or you can pick any color you like maybe let's go for orange sort of orange color something like this and then on this side we'll click on the black one it's a little tricky click on the black one and then we want to increase the uh, color here and set it to some sort of red type color something red red to orange something like this then on the bottom one we'll leave it black here but we'll set this one, the white one, to like a purple color, some type of purple. And then in the noise texture up here, we're going to set it to 28, the scale. And in the distance, we'll set it to 16. So we'll set them up like this. And then on the scale here for the magic texture, we'll set it to 1.5. And we'll set the distortion to 4.6. You can start to see what we get in this sort of effect. What we want to do um, is set this scale here for the wave to 0 0.8. And we'll set the distortion to around 5. Let's, let's make it around 5.3, something like this. And the detail, we want to set that to 0 0.1. We want to bring that right down. Now you've got this sort of effect here, right? Let's go to our render settings and turn on bloom and the threshold will bring that all the way down and then the intensity will bring that up and the radius will bring it down a little bit for now something like this so we've got this 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 particular texture built but we can improve this so let's go ahead and change the settings here so first of all we want to make it metallic so it's nice and shiny like this we'll reflect all the hdr lighting all that good stuff the specular we're going to turn that all the way off and then the roughness we want to bring that down to around 0. let's see around around 0. 0.23 so, so 0. 0.228 0. 0.225 let's just type in 0. 0.225 now we're getting very close to what I had before so let's tweak this a little bit more. I think we can improve it a bit more. We're pretty much there. I think it's really down to the HDR lighting. This lighting wasn't the best. So let's go back to our world settings and we'll choose the other map. Let's choose the Shanghai. So I've clicked here on the open folder or open image and click Shanghai and click open here. Now we can see the difference, right? It's quite a lot of difference here. This texture doesn't look quite right. So let's see if we can improve that a little bit. Uh, first thing here in the bands, we'll set it to rings rather than, um, what was it set before? Set bands to rings here, rings. 0 0.8, 5.3 looks good. The detail, we want to bring that right down to zero here. It's still not quite right, so let's see what else we can do here. Uh, this should be minus 0 0.1. 
minus 0 0.1. I think this depth, we just set it to 1 here. This looks all okay. So this is pretty close to what I had. Yeah, it's pretty similar. It's very similar actually uh, to my original example. Let's have a look at it in the render view here. As you can see we've got all these colors and these patterns. They're quite subtle, but um, that's kind of the effect that I wanted. And you could apply this to some particles or you could apply it to some text object. You're gonna get all these different shades and colors and all this good stuff. And then we've got the, obviously we've got the bloom effect as well. And then you can go and experiment with this now. So when you go into the shading, change the settings, this is really the scale. You won't really make, see much difference in here. If we zoom quite close, you might see something. But um, this scale is for the noise texture. So it's quite subtle on this example. So we'll leave it at 28.2, something around 28.2 it was before. Um, but nice for you to really go and experiment. So as you change this, you can see you'll get this sort of pattern effect in here. Uh, like this effect, this effect, but I wanted that to be quite subtle as well, so I brought that right the way down. So it's just sort of wavy, sort of a texture. But we're combining these two shaders or these two color ramps and these shaders and these textures into one here, and we're mixing it here. You can get rid of the factor here and get rid of the wave texture, then you just you won't have that sort of wavy effect in there. You will have it looking like this, more like this. And then you can change the factor here. You can slide it between because you're really combining these two together. So if you push it to the left, it's going to be more orange because it's more orange at the top, right? You push it all the way to the right, it's going to be more purple because you've got more purple down here. If you mix them in the middle, you're going to get a bit of both. It's going to look quite nice. And then you add this factor here to the factor here and that will control it. And you can control it from here, the waves and stuff, right? You can scale it up, scale it down you can get a completely different sort of style here of this object that looks that looks quite cool as well actually that will make some nice sort of texture maybe for some text or something some shading for some text but let's bring that right down to the original 0.8 and that's pretty much how i set up this particular texture so you can go and experiment play around with the colors play around with this texture here as well experiment with it and have some fun right apply it to a text object and see what it looks like and then you can add other color you can have um, other lamps around this as well to illuminate it and change the colors as well so you can experiment with this and do a lot with this particular texture or material should i say okay let's go to file save let's minimize this that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial <laughs>